Hey, what's going on guys? This is Fit from Clevio and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this kind of title animation in Camtasia. So, without wasting any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in Camtasia. Let's first go to Annotation and add a shape for a background. Double click to edit. Hold control on the keyboard and drag it to the corner. Now add the text for the title. And set it up first a little bit. So I'm using this font by default but of course you can change it and use any font you like. Now double click and type in your title then align it to the center. Now let's apply a behavior called reveal and do some adjustments. For the in behavior, I choose text, first to last, movement is both circular, direction from right, speed 80% and 0.5 second for the offset. For the during and out behavior, I set them to none. Next, let's duplicate this by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and aligning it underneath. Double click and type in your text. Set the size a little bit bigger than the first one. Now for the in behavior, I set it to random and coming from the bottom just to make it a bit different from the first one. Now let's group them by hitting Ctrl G on the keyboard and name it text. Alright, now let's add some elements. You can choose any shape you like of course but here I'm just using a circle or ellipse and for the behavior I choose the scale one movement is both circular with the speed around 80% during none and out also none now duplicate the circle with ctrl C ctrl V several times Then set the size and position randomly. After that, hit Ctrl A to select all of them, right click, and drop shadow. Or you can also go to the visual effect tab on the left, then drop shadow. That's the same thing. Now adjust the shadow values of the text. Choose any color you like for the shape and set the fill to gradient. But here's the difference. I'm applying the same color for the shadow. Okay, now just do the same thing for the rest of the shapes and let's just make it quick. After that, offset each shape randomly. And 
and there it is all right i want to make the scene more focused on the text this time so let's add some short movements now just go to animation choose the custom one and apply it to the text so the idea here is to make the text go from big to a little bit small so just select the start point of the animation and scale it up around 10% or more or you might select the end point and scale it down to 90% that's the same now add also the custom animation to the shapes around the text but for these two shapes what I do is change the positions instead of the size now select the start point of this shape then move the position a little bit to the right now do the same for the second shape but move it to the left so the animation will look like that which was good already and covered enough the idea of focusing the text so for the last step this is only a preference you may choose to do this or not that depends on your style i just want to make the movement of the text and both shapes to be more dynamic or something or you might remember the is both circular movement that we used earlier this step is similar to that movement but more adjustable using custom animation so here it is select the custom animation we want to adjust and move the playhead around 10 frames to the right from the start point then adjust the value of the scale from 107 to 109 percent so it means that the text will be only scaled down by 1% after 10 frames. Now move the playhead again, but now 10 frames before the end point. Then change the scale to 101%. Next, select the start and the end animation, or the in and out animation that we had just before. Right click and choose enable easing to linear. Then select the middle one and change the easing to exponential in or out. So the animation will look like this. Alright, now let's do the same thing for the shapes but with the positions. Click the start point of the animation. Now to make this easy, let's first copy the value of the X position by hitting Ctrl C on the keyboard. Move the playhead 10 frames and paste it back with Ctrl V then add the value around 10 or more from the start point now copy the value, move playhead and frames to the left paste it back the value and change it around 10 as well before the end point now select the in and out animation right click easing to linear then for the middle one enable easing to exponential now do it again for the second shape After that, you can also adjust the offset and the length of each animation accordingly, just to make the movement more smooth from the start to the end. Then the animation will look like this. There's might no big difference, but the movement was a bit snappy and looked more dynamic in my opinion. But then again, this is only a preference, you can choose to do this or not, that depends on you. Also, the values that I put on those animations are not the exact value that you should apply. It may vary and depends on how you want the animation looks. So guys, I think that's all about this video. I hope you got something that might inspire you. If you say so or have another doubt, please write them down in the comment. Also, if you want to follow along with this project, I put the download link in the description below. So happy creating and have a good day.